Hi there and welcome to this Two Minute Tips video. Today we're going to look at the autofocus subject tracking functionality. In one of the previous videos on the autofocus area modes and the ones that are specific to um, moving subjects, I covered the auto area mode, which looks at the whole sensor and the camera tries to predict what the subject is um, within that whole area. It's the most automated of all of the um, autofocus area modes and it has a number of um, subsets of functionality built into it. And in this video we're looking at the subject tracking functionality. So to set this up you have to be in either AFS or AFC mode, it works in both. And then you have to go into auto area mode and to do that you press the function 2 button at the bottom and move the front dial to get you into auto area and or you can set it up on your eye menu buttons as we've covered in a different video. So what this does is you can select an object on the sensor somewhere and the camera will automatically focus on that no matter how you move the camera around so it will track that object. So this is quite useful where you've got a subject that is quite defined but is moving around on the sensor and you want the camera to keep that subject in focus. How this works is when you've got auto area mode set and you're in AFS or AFC, if you press the OK button you will see on the screen a square appear with an arrow on each side pointing away from it or a tr small triangle. This is the area you want to position over the subject you want the camera to track. So you use the, either the thumb control or the joystick to move that square over the um, subject you want and then you press OK again and it will go yellow. Now what you'll notice is if you move the camera then that yellow box will stay over the subject you have selected. If you then um, choose to focus on that, in AFS mode the, the box will go green as it focuses but it will stop then following the subject. So if you move the camera that box will move off of the subject. If you're in AFC mode and you press the AF on button or you half depress the shutter release to tell the camera to focus on that subject, the box will remain yellow and whilst you've got the um, the button depressed, if you move the camera the yellow box will remain on the subject and you can then press um, shutter release to take the shot. If you um, lock onto a subject and you change your mind, you don't want to lock onto that anymore, to disable it or deactivate it you press the um, magnifying glass with the minus sign in at the very bottom here and it will then go back to being a white subject that you can move with the thumb control or the joystick over a new subject and press OK again. So where you might find this quite useful as I say is if you've got a subject that is um, moving around in the, um, the, the area of field of view and you want to lock onto it and you want to be able to either move the camera or allow the subject to move within the frame. Um, we'll cover face detect and eye detect for portraits in a separate video so this is probably not for faces or portraits but it could be some other kind of moving subject. So I do find this quite useful sometimes as I say where you've got a subject that's moving around or you want to be able to move the camera but keep it focused on that subject. It does take a little bit of practice because you've got multiple button pushes to get used to and you've got to train your muscle memory to get used to it. Um, especially where you might be moving, having a subject that's moving and you've got to work at pace. But practice makes perfect as with so many of these different um, focus modes and it does become second nature over time. So I hope you found this video useful. Let me know if you've used um, subject tracking on the Z series, how you found it, whether it's been um, rock solid for you. I've had some pretty good experiences with it. It seems to work pretty well for me, but I'd be interested in your views. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell below and I'll see you in a future video. 